Hey, everybody. So I, I guess you were like myself. You've seen a bunch of this on um, the, the story about Taylor Swift, NFL, and Project 2025 and Google searches. Okay. Anybody who follows me will know that I use Wikipedia stats for understanding what is actually in the mind of the public. And I want to look into this real quick and see. I, I don't know. I decided I'd go live without knowing the answer. So the story is, and it's all over the place, is this one. Um, and they're trying to say that people are really interested in knowing what is going on with, uh, if people are interested in knowing what Project 2025 is, because people are saying people need to know what Project 2025 is and so on. Okay, so um, they did, uh, used a Google stats to tell, and this is just one of many articles. I'll just pull this up really quick. Sorry about all the ads in here, you guys. Okay, here's what they're saying. Google searches for Project 2025 surpassed, surpassed Taylor Swift and the NFL. All right, so they're saying, oh, I don't know how many thousands, but probably lots. And this yellow line is NFL. The red line is Taylor Swift. And Project 2025 is the blue line. And it's really uh, gone up since June, oh, probably... 28th or something like that. It looks like I'm looking at this this um, chart. All right. So now they're not really showing us. Um, I mean, I guess we could do our own Google search. And what I'm going to show you is a tool that that anybody can use. It's not a Wikipedia editor tool. It is a tool that I'm constantly sharing with you guys when you see me talking about stats. It's called page view analysis. What this is, is it's a way of looking at Wikipedia views. Now, keep in mind, we can't tell if a person is a repeated viewer, you know, going there over and over and over again to the same website, to the same Wikipedia article, or if people are reading the whole thing, or if they're just quickly going over there for a second and then they're off the page. We can't tell. All this is showing us is, was the Wikipedia page accessed? And yes, um, that's the same thing with the Google search, I assume, is is did somebody put Taylor Swift, NFL, or Project 25 in a Google search? And if so, we don't know if it's a repeated um, view or if it's um, somebody reading the whole article or what. Okay, so let me tell you a couple other things really quick. Um, uh, if you, statistics are fascinating. But statistics are all about interpretation, right? So if you are looking at Taylor Swift or the NFL, why would you be looking them up on Google? Well, possibly because you're trying to get their tour schedule or you're trying to get see about a new release or see where the NFL is this week or if you can get some merchandise. So Project 2025 is a kind of a different animal than Taylor Swift or the NFL. Because it, it's kind of unfair to judge them as as being the same. So keep that in mind. Um, people aren't going to Project 2025 to understand what, uh, <laughs> if they can get merchandise, I sure hope not, or what Project 2025's tour schedule would be like, or how old Project 2025 is, and if they have, um, um, you know, who their parents are, which is kind of the things that happen with people like Taylor Swift. And or the NFL, maybe what is the history of the NFL or how much money does the NFL have? So 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 keep that in mind that this is we're talking apples and oranges to some extent. What we what the premise is, is that people are saying is that Project 2025 is a brand new thing. And yeah, it's been, um, you know, in the last year or so, NFL been around a lot longer. And so has Taylor Swift. But um Project 2025 is starting to permeate the um, society where we're saying to ourselves, what the heck is this? What? This is this is interesting. I don't know anything about it. What are the tenets of 2025? So again, that's another thing that's a little different. It's another apples and oranges kind of thing because, um, like I say, the NFL and Taylor Swift are not new to society, whereas ta uh, Project 2025 is a very new thing. Okay. 
Uh, so keep all that in mind. So let's look just, and I'm sure there's a lot of things I'm not even thinking about at all. So let's look at this stat thing I have here and I'll explain it really quick. And I use it for all kinds of things. Google's wonderful, Google Trends, all that fascinating, but Wikipedia views are a different kind of animal because you are looking at somebody purposely going to a Wikipedia link to find out something. And it is um, a little more intent. In other words, how how much is this in um, the, the in internet that they really want to know something? Usually that's how it happens. I assume you could click on it or, you know, just accidentally not knowing what Project 2025 is. I mean, that could be, I mean, it, it doesn't say uh, left, <laughs> I mean, right wing or anything like that. It's, it's, it doesn't, people could say, I really don't know what that is. So what is that thing? Okay. All right. This is a stat tool and you can, you know, take the URL yourself and you can use it for a lot of different things. When you sign in and you don't have to sign in, you don't have to have an account or anything like that. It automatically shows you cat and dog popularity of how many times people are clicking on cat and dog. And this changes daily. Now this tool is only updated once a day. So you aren't going to see trends that, and it's about a 24 hour lag, something like that. I've never really figured out exactly how many hours it is, but just assume it's about a 24 hour lag. And let's just see, as you can see, it's light blue and it's green. So I hope you were able to see this, but this, if you can see my mouse is where um, cat is right now. This is people who are searching for cat. So, and then down here is dog, which is not doing so well this week, but you know, some weeks it's probably half as much for dog as it is for cat. They just put that up there for fun. It allows you to compare. And down in here, you can see how many views those articles have had in the amount of time that this is. And this is the last 20 days, keeping in mind it's about a day behind. You can see lags where it's fallen down here into the 7,000. And then dog just has a pretty steady stream over here with 5,000 views. And the cat is about 10,000 page views on average daily. And dog is about 5,000 daily views. And I, I have no idea why it doesn't matter to me. Over in here, it tells you a few other things like how many people watch the Wikipedia article. That means people who are going to get a notification every time something's changed. We all Wikipedia editors follow certain pages. That's how we make sure we keep vandalism off of pages. Um, we watch them. So cat has about 2000 watchers. Dog has 1700. This is how many editors and edits have been made in the last 20 days. So um, I'm going to put in the, the um, project 2025 and the project uh, NFL and Taylor Swift. And you can see over here that it has a date range, latest 20, 90 days, 60 days, 30 days. You can play with that. You can put English only or all languages. Um, if it's a mobile user, if it's, um, oh, this means like uh, bots and stuff like that. And let's just see. So let's see, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Okay, so we're going to put her in first. And these are her page views. And she had in the last 20 days, there's a day it says June 24th, which would probably be June 23rd. She had 70,000 views in, one, in that one day. That's how many times people accessed it. The lowest day is 32,000 views um, accessing her Wikipedia article. And if we look down here, you can see that in the 20 days that this tool has, it says there's almost a million views, 926,000 page views in the 20 days, All right? Ranked 51 of the most viewed pages for June, 2024. Okay, so let's put in, in uh, football, National Football League. Let's see what that looks like. Now it's gonna give us an algorithmic scale. <laughs> you go Tay Tay, look at Taylor Swift's up here in the 40, 70,000, 50,000, 40,000. And then here's the NFL down here, way down here with a very steady amount of views of about about eight, eight, 3,000 views a day. So you can see it's pretty steady, 8,000, no, 3,000, 4,000. So about 3,800 views a day. 
And down here, you can look at the stats and you can see Taylor Swift has 44,000 on a daily average during the last 20 days. And National Football League is about 4,000 views uh, on average. Again, we have 2,200 people watching the um, Wikipedia editors. These are people who have accounts uh, watching the Taylor Swift article to make sure that the vandalism stays off of the page. Mainly that's what's going on. And there's only been 138 edits on Taylor Swift. It's probably most of those edits are somebody putting in vandalism and somebody taking out vandalism. I bet it happens in seconds. And the football page is 14 edits um, and so on. So, so you can see that. Okay. National Football League. All right. Let's add the one we're waiting for, Project 2025. And I really don't know. Project 2025. I have no idea. You guys take a deep breath. I'm, I, I assume Project 2025 is going to probably surpass Tay Tay only because of the reasons I said before that it's starting to permeate into our society and, and we're starting to hear about this Project 2025. I even went to the Wikipedia page or I, um, I think I started to go to the Wikipedia page and got distracted because I wasn't sure about all the, I wanted to check to see if what the media is telling me is what is on the project 2025. And it's easier for me to read the Wikipedia article. I'm, I'm much more trusting of that than what they may have added or taken off of the um, website for project 2025 in the last few days. I bet it's surpassing Taylor Swift and I know it's surpassing the NFL. That's my guess in the last 20 days, because again, we already know who Taylor Swift is. So let's see. Here we go. Whoa, <laughs> damn. Oh, OMG. Okay. That far, that far supersedes what I thought. I was thinking, I should have said, I was thinking it would be, I don't know, more than Taylor Swift, but not this much more than Taylor Swift. Oh my God. I don't know if you guys can see this. If you're colorblind, I'm sure there's probably issues with that wow dang this makes <laughs> people are, are looking up project 2025 now remember we can't know if people are looking it up um to and there for a second or if it's the same person hitting it over and over again but in the last 20 days in the last 15 days starting around june 26 probably because remember we're about maybe 24 hours off um, they were all about the same. Here is this nice, bah, 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 nothing, nothing's new. And then, boom, um, it hits this. Now, I don't know what happened on that day, but I know that at the BTE Awards, um, there was a wonderful, um, uh, somebody was, and I'm sorry, I apologize. I don't know who she is, but she, man, she had a voice and she's telling them, look it up, Project 2025, look it up. And I would not be shocked if that was right around here. So what day was, somebody's got a calendar? I think it happened Sunday, right? So if the stats are off a day, was it this Sunday? Okay, so if it was June, July 7th or June 30th. So June 30th would have been right around here. So the stats... That would have been about right here. So that would have been here. And then people start to look it up if it was around the 30th of June. But if it's around July 10th, uh, 7th, then that's right around here. So I have a feeling just judging from when somebody said, look it up from the BET, BET Awards. Um, it probably was right about here. It was starting to gain traction. And then this woman um, said, look it up and boom, people did. So for those of you who can't see this screen really well, especially if you can't see the red, it is uh, 450,000 views, very close to 500,000 views. We're at 482,000 views and then it takes a little dive and then right around, um, so right around July 6th, probably, it starts to climb back up again. So we don't know how it's going to do, but let's look down here at the edits. Now, keep in mind that um, 
the daily average is 232,000 views, but that's before it got to be, um, it hit this um, spike. So if you add in this, if you were to change this to the last 10 days, here we go, last 10 days, look at that. You can see that a daily average is 363,000 views compared to Taylor of uh, 39,000 compared to the NFL at 4,000. Now there are 502 edits that are made on this Wikipedia page for project 2025, probably most of them vandalism or as more the media is talking about it more then obviously there's more information to add to the Wikipedia article. There's 81 editors. It is on 327 watchers. So look at Tay Tay's got 2,288. And that's probably because over time people put them on the watch list and then forget about it and don't really pay attention to it that much. So, and same with the NFL with 800. So watchers is, is just a way of saying they're probably new to the Wikipedia article and are watching it because there probably has been a lot of vandalism and a lot of things added, trying to get it just right, trying to get the best article they possibly can. So you can see from this that, um, yes, um, so the news reports are are talking about how uh, Project 2025 has overtaken uh, Taylor Swift and the NFL in search engine, um, in the search engine stuff, but Keep in mind what I said. These are not necessarily the same thing. And for example, we can also look at over time. Here's the last 90 days. So um, this is Taylor Swift. She had a giant peak of almost 200 and probably 225,000 views on one day back in April. That might have been when something was released. And that's common. And then down here, it was not much of anything. So Project 2025, back in the day, back 90 days ago, it was only getting 24,000 views, which is a lot. It really was. So you can see how it goes up in here, has a spike of 137,000, and then it starts spiking. Boom, boom, boom. So, um, wow, that is that is amazing. So Project 2025 in the last 90 days has 7 million, 7.6 million Taylor has 4.2 million and National Football League has 400,000. And you can see that that is just amazing. So this is a fascinating tool. You can use it. It's pageviews.wmcloud.org. And it's called PageView Stats. It's not something that I use. I mean, I use it all the time, but it's not something built for us by... Um, uh, our stat badger tool that I use, which is built by um, Kyle Polish from Data Skeptic. This is not the tool I use because the tool that Data Skeptic Kyle Polish built for me is uses these same stats. It doesn't have quite as many uh, bells and whistles as this this site does. But what Stat Badger does is it allows me to watch just the Wikipedia articles that my GSOW team has written, and that's totally unique. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to um, know my team stats unless I was like individually at every Wikipedia article we have written. And we only re watch our pages that are completely written, not, not just anything we've done. And I just because I have you here and maybe you're watching and maybe you're curious. So I will pull up my stats real quick. I'm not going to screen share because this is like coveted knowledge <laughs> anybody would love to get all of this stat and see all the wikipedia pages we have written and it's loading hope you guys are having a good day i'm gonna go have pizza you should guys come with me i'm gonna go to monterey come let's, let's go have pizza <laughs> still loading okay so my team has written um 2218 pages and that's a little over 10 years i think 15 years something like that 2218 Wikipedia articles. 45% of the work we do is in languages outside of English. And we have, as of this moment, 171,449,362 page views. So um, that's pretty amazing. Our most viewed Wikipedia article that we have written in the last week is Barbara O'Neill, who's the Australian alternative medicine person. And in the last week, she's gotten 24,000 views in a week. 
and uh, so on. Our most viewed Wikipedia article that we've written, keep in mind that this is all relative because we we write them over time. So of course they get more page views than anything else. It's still our mom, um, blue whale challenge, which you can learn all about by looking at the New Mexicans for Science and Reason uh, talk that um, Ben Radford gave. It's at 10 million views, followed closely by Momo Challenge, which has got 7 million views. So, hey, Spontaneous Human Combustion is up there. We're four, It's fourth most viewed Wikipedia article we've written with 4,700,000. But we wrote that back in 2012. So, of course, it's going to get a lot of views. Anyway, I hope this has been interesting. Um, I think Wikipedia is the best way to, to evaluate stats and see how uh, see an interest that people have in a, a topic, a who, a where, a when topic, because I think it takes out a lot of the noise uh, that you would have about um, um, something else, like, a you know, I don't know, gossipy kind of stuff. Um, let me look at this one thing really quick. Cause, okay. Right. So let me show you this one last thing. This is called a Google knowledge bar. And this is fascinating. Tim Farley showed me this years ago because Google's been doing this for a while. This is a Google knowledge bar. People tell me, oh, I don't use Wikipedia. I don't have anything to do with Wikipedia, blah, 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 blah. Well, trust me, you are getting content from Wikipedia. If you're using Alexa or Siri, you're probably, when they repeat something back to you, it's probably the first line or two from Wikipedia. So this is a Google search for Project 2025. Okay, so I just gave another point to of data to the uh, them saying, are is people looking at it? And what you're going to see is here's the um, the main hits I've got. I've never Googled Project 2025 before, so these should be pretty uh, raw, real numbers. You can see down here it has some stuff. Joe Biden for president. They've got a big thing on there. Document cloud. CBS News and some videos and the Wikipedia articles coming up here, right here. But what I want to show you is here on the right hand side, and this is common for a lot of terms and people and places and things that you look up um, innocently. And you can see that there is a summation right here. Project 2025 is a collection of conservative and right wing policy proposals from the Heritage Foundation to reshape the United States federal government and consolidate executive power should the Republican nominee, presumably Donald Trump, win the 2024 presidential election, cites Wikipedia. So what you're looking at right there in this little blurb is pulling from the Wikipedia article. So when my GSOW team writes a Wikipedia article, we try to make sure that first sentence is is summed up as possible with the most information we can possibly get in it because we know that that first sentence is where people are going to get a lot of their information. They're going to read that and they're going to walk away and they won't even go to the Wikipedia article. They got all the information they 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 were actually asking for. So this is common, $22 million budget and so on. So you'll see that even if, and Heritage Foundation, even if you do not look these up directly by going to Wikipedia, you're still getting Wikipedia content. Plus, of course, we know that the media, you know, the print press, the people on the, you know, TV broadcasts, people writing blogs and so on are getting a lot of their information from Wikipedia. They're not going to say, hey, I got all this information with Wikipedia, but I, we know that they're pulling it from Wikipedia. And if we go to the Heritage Foundation, um, there it is again, pulled from Wikipedia. The Heritage Foundation, sometimes referred to simply as Heritage, is an American conservative think tank based in Washington, D.C. And you're going to get their website. And then you're going to go down here and, and it gives you right away the Wikipedia article for the Heritage Foundation. And you'll see that um, it gives you some other little areas, uh, the founders. Um, I have no idea if these people are going to pull up their Wikipedia page, but let's see. Um, yep, first thing. This is the first name that came up. And the first thing it pulls up is his Wikipedia article. A former think tank executive, congressional aide, and foreign consultant who co-founded the Heritage. So this is going to be um, now. So as I say, GSOW doesn't really get involved in politics. 
Um, we've never edited any of these Wikipedia articles. I know mostly what my team edits and they've never edited these. It's not a, probably, it's not on our list of things to do. I'm just showing this to you as, because I'm so involved in Wikipedia and my team is so involved in Wikipedia, I'm just showing you the tools that we use for other reasons, but how it does apply to what's happening in the media right now. So I'm about ready to go get pizza. Pepperoni pineapple, you guys. That's the best. Take care. And if you ever want to be one of my editors, you better let me know because uh, important work out there to be done. Bye, y'all.